Hi. I'm trying to build a. Let's just show you what what I wanna build, and I wanna show you from zero to hundred, from A to Z. What I will do to create this PCB. What this PCB should have. Let's just call it that. This is a PCB. It has maybe. It has an ESP, ESP seven, ESP seven, I think. That is ESP eighty two sixty six version seven. So that is the ESP that I wanna use in this project. There is two relay. Let's just have it R one. This is relay. Relay R2. It's just R2. That's okay. And two input. What I want to use for input is two optocoupler. So opto one for input, opto two for another input. So in this relay, I will use another opto. up to R1 so I will control this relay with uh, with the optocoupler optocoupler so it will be isolate so our our MCU or ESP will be safe so let's just copy and paste it no 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 it's better that we create this game up to R2 that. What what I think for this project I should use an MCU and uh, let's just create an MCU here because ESP should do HTTP request Wi-Fi and all of this so uh, we want to use an MCU to control anything any other thing that we want but for ESP, we just use it for Wi-Fi, Internet, HTTP request, and this. So, uh, I want to have uh, MCU here from Novaton, um, if I'm correct. So, this is... Uh, um, I hope it's correct writing. Um, it is so much uh, efficient for price. Price efficient and it is so low cost. You can use it in every project you want. Let's just see what other thing I want. Well, I want to program this ESP, so I should have. Let's just size up to this two track for programming, one for ground, so three is enough. That's it. To track from here to here it is enough to communicate with this to track for control this and two for this and i think three would be enough for programming this that's okay and what we want um uh, you know there is two relay here and two input here that input is isolate again it can sense um, voltage that will be placed in here so there will be a connector here connector of course when we go to PCB it will be much beautiful so it will be three connector here three pin here so one of one of them is ground and two other is input that will be connect here and this will be ground of course maybe I will change it in in um, future but for now i will uh, i want this connection so there is an idea that uh, we want extra uh, we want this board to be able to uh, control another board so we want something here some connector that another board here can be connected to it so 
this will be connected to it and maybe this and other board have uh, let's say two relays four relays or um, two input four input optical operator input or 10 relays no matter what you want you want to control it so um, maybe we want one one of them should be grant gnd it will be for grand and another you know what we do here and i i see that um, everyone do it like this grand here and this is here this is no good if we um, if we don't connect it right it will be broke so let's grant here and this is here it can be wrong you don't need any protection for this because if we uh, don't connect it right nothing will explode so it is it will be okay so in this two pin maybe maybe i want to use i2c or use art i don't know it i don't know it yet. i2c or use art two pin is enough for connecting to another board that has whatever we want so i think that's all we need now let's just um, make it big so we can clear this and from here to here i think this this will be our board that we want to design uh, so I want to save it in dice paint and let's call it one then save it i want to build this pcb so first of all i need all the uh, all the data sheet that we want for this project what we want to use in this and uh, we will download all of its data sheet let's just minimize this and in docs you see i have a project it is mm, for this year my eighth project so i will call it eight and uh, um, its names and so the mcu that we want to use is this n e203 let's just download its data sheet no it is noton i think I call it right. So I will download it. Let's just see what is my structure for my project. I have a I have a folder that called docs. I have a folder that called PCB. I will write I will write this program for it. So the folder that called MCU. And for now it's okay in docs. All the MCU docs will be here. I will copy it here and open it. So let's just look at this data sheet. You see, it's from Noton. And let's go to always uh, when a data sheet is large enough, it is good. So it is 80, 80. 8051 based microcontrollers it's 8 bit and let's just say it's just have 18 kilobytes of ram they call it a prime and i think it has just this much of ram it has this much of auxiliary ram i don't know when you exit because i didn't do anything with it till till now i just it's just been uh, one week that i know this know about this ncu so i want to experience with it so maybe we can call it that we have one kilobyte of ram that is good not um, not perfect but it is good for our project our project is not something complicated it is 
easy it can it just read input and uh, control relay so it doesn't need a lot of ram and let's just see it's all tight is so cool it's from 2.4 to 5.5 and it is okay its frequency is okay you don't want a lot of it so it is a lot i think and temperature okay that no so it is okay let's just if you go down and see here you can see clear it has two timer time uh, three timer four timer it has timer do has input capture so it is cool self wake up timer that is cool two serial two uart uart two uart and um, why one i2c one spi uh, i think 10 pwm that's so cool two external interrupt and any port pin interrupt all of them has in pin interrupt it has watchdog timer 12 bit adc so um for um, eight of these so eight channel i think it has a reset that we know it has brownout detection power on reset that is so cool it, it can sense voltage and decide to run or not so that is so good now let's just see what we want to know we want to know that we want to use this or this so this is a quiz question that we want this or this mm, all of the other is for just programmer that we will um, in that program should be considered and let's see what other th important thing it has just let's create this create this schematic and pcb and then we will worry about all the other we just should get this so in all data sheet when you to when you when you when you are on this page page of pin configuration and pin mapping pin assignment and figure of it uh, you see it it tell you what is it its package so it is a standard package ts ts up 20. so let's just know open or alt -tune. and i have a library that i want to add it to it so let's just open or alt -tune. alt -tune 18 i think and i will save it here on pcb at the meantime, let's just go to ESP7 to see how it looks like. Let's just see its image. Oh, with this guitar. <laughs> ESP. Let's just. And I think that's it. This is what we want ESP7. So it is okay. You can see the pins. If you search this ESP7 Altium library maybe you find Altium library in here um, it can't it didn't find anything I think that's it but let's just wait until or Altium show up in the eight year that I that I'm designing all the PCB that I want, um, I did design all the component that I want in my project. So let's just show you what I mean. If you come in my lib, this is my library that um, I gathered in 2015. But of course, it's from I think 2010. But 2015, I will. I did rename it so this is the all the library in it I will show you and it has all the ESP in it it has all the all the 
component that I did use in those, those years and I will upload it for you. There is some other libraries that I will upload it. That is unified a component that Altium uploaded itself, but I will upload it again. So this is Altium Designer 18. Let's just open our library. This is live package. So click here. Let's wait until it's opened because I'm saving, I'm recording video. It will take some time to open up. So let's just click here. So it open schematic of this library of ESP8266. Let's just wait. Finally, it is opening. That is so cool. With middle mouse, you can click it and zoom and unzoom. From right click, you can grab it and see all the... If you click here, SCH library or schematic library, you, you can see all the e ESP8266 in here. I want to use this. So you see that is that it has all we need but you should always check check if it's right or not okay what i want to do again i will open this this schematic this pcb library so let's wait until it's open so this is pin one what it says let's just split vertical to see both of it you see pin one is here it's if you hit hit three on your keyboard you can see 3d view of it okay so it's from above this is pin one if you again hit two on your keyboard you can see it in this 2d dimension so pin one let's just go to go to i will upload this for you just say see here pin one is this let's just try to find something better for this um i think it's okay pin one that's it it is reset let's see if it's okay pin one it is in here it is v d d so what is happening let's just find out module that you have here it's not okay let's just again see another one maybe that's it no 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 one is reset let's go to this and all of this i did download this from internet so it, you can't So this is not okay. It's now it's not cool. Let's just see if we can use this. If we can use this PCB because it is good design. You see there is a 3D dimensional design in here. So let's just see it if it's the one. If you be see the dimension of it. Um I think I saw it in here that's it it is 22 millimeter in and one two three four five six seven eight it has eight pin let's just see if it's okay one two three four five six seven eight so it is okay let's just use control and m control and m go to Control N. I don't know why why this is not working. Just click here. Control M. Measure measure distance and click here and then click here. It is twenty three. So it is okay. It is close. I think um, it's just um, make it bigger so it will be 
okay to solder let's just see from here to here it is 16 let's see if it's okay 16 it is okay so uh, maybe we can use it but one thing we should consider what is this distance between uh, pins you see is two millimeter so let's just see if it's okay the port measure distance from you, you you see you can't snap to it you see when i if report measure measure distance it didn't snap to this pad so what we should do in here in this pad that is properties just click here and here on the all the layers so a snap to board outline it is okay i think when no it will snap to it. it when you close to it it will snap to it and you can't do this two millimeters so this is okay we can use this but how we can use it on our so let's just see this is what i download from internet but this tree is what i what is my libraries so i want to add this to this so let's just open mine what is mine let's just open it so let's just see some of my library um, pcb library if you go to here you see there is a lot of there is a lot that i design over the years that i'm working let's just you see it's a lot for example it is what we want what i want that there is there there isn't in altium so it is like uh, cc 25 13 30 so you can see this that there is there isn't in altium so i did create it by myself this is a transformer and that's it i will upload this for you so what i want what i want to do now i want to copy this and paste it in my library what is my my library is this so it is so simple you when you click here just go to pcb library Why it is different? Let's just wait and see. That's it. Well, it's good that we have problem in here. So in the real world, you will see these problems. This is okay that you see it here. So it is. Let's just see ESP twelve to see what it look like. It is so much like ESP seven so we can use it esp7 it is so much like it so we check it if it's okay so it was okay um, let's just check esp7 if it's okay it has one two three four five six seven so there is a problem i think this library that i downloaded is not okay it's not okay so I, I will test it whatever I want to use I will test it to be sure that is okay so you saw that we check we check ESP 12 and it was okay for ESP 7 so let's just right click on it and copy it that that is so simple and click my library and go here and here let's just paste one component that we copied before we did paste it let's just uh, rename it no and footprint property esp 7 all the other it's it's okay let's just it is good for our esp 7 we did check all of its pins and we, we know that this work for esp7 so in here we can copy and paste this as well and modify it one two three four five six seven 
in ESP7. Let's just call it here. If it didn't show us. This is ESP7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so it is not good. We will create this by ourselves. You, you see that these pins is okay. Distance between these pins is okay. So everything in this in this PCB library is okay, but this in sh uh, schematic schematic is not okay. Um, so we want to go to project and go to here our our own schematic library and click here and in here SCH library and no we want to right click in here and no 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 not not right click just add here what what it should be it is ESP7 that I wanna let's put zero in here as well I wanna create ESP7 library so I will call it here let's just put okay and this will give us empty schematic to design with it what's important is this it has 16 b 16 pad or 16 pin you see and from internet we know that let's just open this esp7 so we know that it's okay let's just see one that esp7 pins click here and that's so it is okay so let's just save this um, save image and because this is like an MCU it worked it is a microprocessor I will save it in Dykes MCU ESP7.jpg so it is saved and we know pin 1 is RST let's just close this save it because this is in our library so it is okay let's just close this and we don't want to save this because this is one that let's just make this bigger and we start from here so let's go to here again and find what we if if i click e we go to e section and i did create by clicking here i did create another part that i don't want so i will delete this and no let's just let's just have if you click here you can make this how big you want no matter you see there is a problem here that i don't don't like this this grid here i can't see it Let's just go to preferences as, and change something here. Right click here and preferences. And in a schematic, we use mills. That is okay for a schematic. So size is okay. Go to the next. Go to here, graphical editing and a small cursor. Just make it large. We want large. And apply it. And go to grid and change its color to black. And apply and okay so you know you can see the grid let's just go back and change it change its color so it will be like this I think it will be good no let's just change it again color that we want maybe a little whiter so it is okay I, I think it is okay now how many pin we want we want eight pin here and eight pin here so let's just click here and you see the size of this here and it, it not a snapping right in here so it is not okay I think for better reading let's just do something now in here if you see here grid is 10 millimeter so let's just click here and it doesn't snap in anywhere let's just click G G on keyboard to see it's no is a snapping on here that we want if you put g again you see g in here grid if you click g again you see intent it 100 mil so you see a snapping 
if I put G again, it's 10 mil. So you see, you see, again, you see that. So we want eight. One. We want to start from one. So again, one. Of course, if you if if you want to change this, it is no two. But you want to change it to one. Okay. Let's just hit tab and go here and you see designator we want to be one and the name of it should be one and name what name should be name is rst or reset so rst it is good that we um, we write description here and um, select electrical type in no it is input you see we make it input so it is okay and i think that is good it is reset pin i will just write reset pin in description and press enter and this is okay and now here uh, with left click i put it in there so pin 2 what it is let's just hit tab and let's see what is pin 2 it is an adc so Let's just put ADC in here and ADC is an input, but you can use it as an output. So we just do it like this. That is, that is the pin that can be input or output. So it is an ADC, which we don't, we don't need description in here. So we had enter in here. So we do it like this. And again for pin three, let's just go and see pin three is CHPD. And let's just call it chpd it's just a name and I, no I don't I don't know if it's input or output let's just call it um, passive no matter just put it here you see we want a bigger component here so we can put all the pin here so I make it bigger let's just continue Pin 4, um, pin 4 is GPIO 16, GPIO 16, GPIO 16, and that is a GPIO that can be input or output, so it is okay to do it like this, and let's just put hit tab to see if it's, it is GPIO 12, so just make it 12 so pin 5 is gpio 12 let's make it bigger and um, it's maybe enough we are right uh, if you from right to left you click it and drag it everything that touches this green bar will be selected okay and you can now just move it but if you drag it from left to right if it touches it it won't select it you see it should contain it you see no it's selected let's just go to next pin next pin is six and you see it's not in a grid it should be on grid let's, let's just make it bigger and select this and make it on grid and again six i hit tab here it's pause here and i can change value in here let's just see gpio 13 gpio 13 pin 6 io and enter that's okay but click tab and you can change it uh, we go to this is vcc so we cc it's pin 7 Let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did a mistake, I think. Let's just see. Sixteen. Sixteen. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's just. I did a mistake. Pin five was. GPIO 14 
now it's okay and again pin 6 gpio this is pin 6 it didn't change because it's just enter we, we should hit enter this is pin 7 and this is pin 8 so now we know that how much space it take we can again resize it and for for beauty of it you can just make it bigger in this direction and now let's just continue gmd is pin 9 gmd let's just with a space i will rotate it with a space i will rotate it 9 i will hit tab to go here and change its value it is gnd and its io type is power let's just put in turn in here and change this this is a power as well and put enter no this and this is power let's just change color of it if you go here maybe it's so much no better you know that every red color is vcc it's for practice let's continue pin 10 what is pin 10 let's just see gpio 15 gpio 15 and it is io that's okay let's call it here and pin 11 pin 11 is gpio 2 let's go there and gpio 202 02, i will write so it is okay and again pin 12 9 10 11 12 gpio 0 gpio 0 so pin 13 let's just see gpio 4 look for put it in here 14 9 10 11 12 13 gpio 5 gpio 5 it's it's incremented by itself it's that smart so and pin 15 is rxd rxd and pin 16 is kxd so that's it you design your schematic let's just give it a footprint let's just give it a footprint and browse in here and go to our pcb library that we create and find esp you see that that's the if you click here you, you see it that's the esp that we edited and put it there let's just click ok and that's ok with left click i can rotate it and with click in here i can see it in two dimensional way let's just ok and now go to project and right click on right click on our project and compile it to see if it, if there is error yes save it so there is an error here it's for it's for just in it's not for our library it's for this library that i downloaded from internet so it is okay let's just compile it again to see if there is another error all error that there is this in this compiler i don't want to check it because i just I, it's not my library and i don't want it let's see this is error let's this is all the error warning and this is error error is important let's just see you see it is it's saying that this library has some error i don't care because this is not my library this is just i downloaded from internet and added to here drag and drop it in here so it is okay let's just close this and now we did create our own ESP7 that is cool and useful let's just in here right that it is ESP 07 
and maybe make, make it bigger and make it bold that's okay so you did see how we can create a schematic library if you want to create your own library it is so simple let's find out right left click on file new click project and create integrated library or just click project in here and in here you just click integ integrated library and put a name in here my new lib whatever name you want just i want to show you let's click ok you see this is another library that i built and this is old library that i built it you can copy and paste any of these to here if you want to you if, if you want to create a schematic library just right, right click on here and add new project schematic library you see it creates it creates one component in it but you can create whatever component you want that I, I did show you how to create a component and create it with these tools in here let's just create a PCB library for this so this is a this build a one PCB component one footprint we can add whatever we want and name it in footprint problem like ESP7 or whatever you want but I you want to use my library because I did a lot I did create a lot of footprint and schematic and please just use this and develop this but you can have your own library this is not difficult I did show you let's just close this without saving save none and okay and it did close it let's just see if, if you want to just it stay here just click here and it will stay here all the time so what we want to know in this schematic we want to use click here when you pin it in here you should choose schematic library in this bottom so i want to create what i want to create this what is this this is mm, let's just mm, copy and paste its name it's not too hard to do that so let's just until till here i think it's enough yes this is its name and copy it and add another component to a schematic we we should create a, a schematic library for it and then we should create a pcb footprint for that schematic library that we created so first we should do do it in a schematic we should create a schematic for it so we choose its name let's hold ok and where did it save that's it this is as an empty a schematic library like before just click here and choose this and i think no let's just i think it has a problem with my graphic so it is okay there's no problem first you put this in here then you put what pins how much pin you have let's just do it another way we have 20 pin so we create 20 pin from one and we raise we just put one in here for name so it will increment it by altium and call it io after that we change it so let's enter one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten in this side and with the space i rotated and ten other in this side as well so that's it you see it should be a little bigger so i make it bigger so let's just select all this and move it and move this as well so you have all the pin that you want in here let's just double click on on this and you see 
this parameter that you can change for designator you put u it is a standard but you can do anything you want with question mark this question mark Altium will decide what what it should be and its comment should be maybe it's better to be its name and this comment is just and we can we can show it it will be shown in schematic you will see it so it's okay for this parameter you don't want to change anything else you see this is all the pins that we put in here so first thing what is first thing let's just grab this and put it in here and you see i can't see anything in here so unpin it unpin this as well and i see something in here but we wanted this properties window in here so this is good i think property pin it and make it a little smaller so i can see everything here and put data sheet i grab it in right side of my monitor and no what we should do we should you can decide by yourself but what i'm gonna do is this in this pin you see I, did, I won't change designator for any of these because this is good but name name sh i think it's better to be this but you can change it whatever you want so i copy and paste this in here and hit enter you see i did it. hit enter but in this description you can just copy and paste all of this in here so everyone that that are using your um, your um, altium library know that whatever this pin can do and just copy and paste it for this and for description i just copy and paste all of it in here hit enter it is okay so let's just copy and paste this here and copy and paste all of it in here enter and i do it for all of it No, it should be here and all of it in here. Pin 7 is drawn, that is cool. Pin 8. And I will copy all of it, hit enter. Pin 9. This pin ground and VDD, that is VCC, is it's close together that is so good you can use capacitor for bypassing and it will be so good it is good mcu it is just for mass production that is so good so now pin 10 pin 10 is this name and in description we put all the function that it can have pin 11 let's just go to pin 11 Pin 12, copy and paste all of this, You can make a lot of mistake in here then you should check it twice after you did this and it's better to give it to your friend and your friend check it so you make no mistake Ten.
and the here shows. That's okay. So a schematic is okay. Let's just see it. So you did create a schematic for it and this is okay. Let's just make this red so we know that. You can change IO color to another color. Let's just say um, ground is black but all the other let's just say it could be uh, it is no good color so this is not good color. You can just put blue in here. I think blue is good for IO. And so all of this to make the to make it blue. So this is blue as well. So you know that all the blue pin is IO and all the black pin is ground and all the red pin is VCC. So let's just save it and let's go and try create PCB library for it. We don't have PCB library for it, but now we want to create one. So now that we create its a schematic library, we want to create its PCB library. Let's go to project and click in this PCB lib. And till it open, let's just go to our project and go to docs and open it. Data sheet. Now we go to PCB library and you see all the footprint that there is in this library. Let's make it bigger and cl add, click add here and right click on it and call it from footprint property. We can change its name. Let's just go to datasheet and in pin configuration, I think. You see that it is TS sub 20. It has 20 pin. So what we should do for naming, we can name it this, but this is a standard pinout. We can just copy and paste this and name this TSOP20 so we can use it for another MCU or IC that has this footprint on it. So a lot of IC and MCU has this footprint and we can just create it once and use it in all the MCU and IC that is uh, that have this footprint. So this name is good. Um, let's just now go to package dimension. You see it give us all the dimension that we need. We want this package, so this is good. Let's just use this. In here, it tell us that give give us give me a height. So let's just see. It is a two. If you see here, it is better to say a. So a maximum is one point two millimeter. So let's just call it here. 1.2 millimeter. It's for rules. I will show you how rules work. So in description, you don't want you maybe if you want to write something, you do you do it. But in my case, I don't need it. So let's okay, click OK. And you see from before I have TSOP 6 and TSOP 32, TSOP 48, but I didn't have TSOP TSOP 20. Why I didn't have it? Because in all the libraries that you find in the internet, you can add this. But for practice, I wanna create it. But I wanna create it myself, so you can see it. How we can create a footprint. So, first of all, if you just see a PCB, let's just search PCB and go to images. Um. That's good. This is good quality. So you see this line, this white line and this white, what you see in here that is white is silk screen, silk screen. 
So you see in this IC you have this circuit screen with its name, with its designator, and you want to have it in your footprint. So first of all, we create our foot or circuit screen shape. So I just use line and if you if you see down here grid is every grid is this much and when you click your mouse here you put your mouse here you can see its dimension what is its x and y for this is zero and this is zero and zero if you put it in here it is like you see here see down the button you can see it so let's just go to here there is a lot of way a lot of way to create this you can have your own way but i want to show you my way that i think it's faster so you see in here we have he let's see he is um, i want to use this grid to create or silk screen how we can do it just click just hit g on keyboard and from here uh, you choose one millimeter why you want to choose one millimeter you, you want to change this grid so let's just see i want to create this and this so for now i want he and d i want to build all all of this so you see if you if i want to create circuit screen this way that you sh you see in in here so if i use he in here if i use he so this silk screen should go to here and here 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 so it's up to you to decide what you want to do so for now i just use e and d well for us uh, i decide to it, it is zero and zero so e what is e let's just see it here e is maximum i will consider just maximum value so it is 4.5 4.5 4 4.5 if if you hit g on your keyboard if you want to create 4.5 you should choose this 0.5 millimeter so let's zoom out you see this is a grid that you want and click here you see in this bottom you see all the layer that you can um, create that you can um, create or write something to it so i will click top overlay top overlay is just for silk screen in here you see this white area white line and white writing you see this is silk screen we call it silk screen so top overlay is just the silk screen whatever you put in top overlay it will be in it will be show in silk screen so let's just click here and no you just creating silk screen this is from top from bottom left corner you see that i'm now in z x zero and y zero i click left click and how much i want i want 4.5 let's just go to x 4.5 y zero that's it and for y let's just hit tab is paused or altium and go to data sheet and you see d how much is d d is 6.6 .6. so hit tab again let's just go to 6.6 .6 in y direction 6. Dot, you know you can um, because you have this grid you can't have 6.6 .6. what you should do you should change the grid so what should i put here maybe this resolution is good point one so no i have point one you, i can see x and y in bottom left corner so you see ch x is changing so for better performance i use arrow key in keyboard so i hit left and this is good x is equal 4.5 and y i hit top arrow so i hit 6.6 .6 and hit enter so 
you create some of it but how you can do it faster i want to show you a shortcut know where you want to go you want to go to dimension x equal zero y equal 6.6 .6. how you can do it just first hit g on your keyboard and from here just hit l new location l it's just telling you where to jump you you say i want to jump to x equals zero and y equal 6.6 .6. enter you see we we have we make some mis mistake we didn't enter it properly just let's go back j l x is equal 4.5 and we back there and put and hit enter and no it's created no x is zero and y is 6.6 .6. you see hit enter several times and again j l and no we want to go to location zero and zero and no know that you create around it let's just with right click get rid of it so again right click and you see this is okay let's just save it till here that's cool what we create is e and d we go zero to e on x and zero to d on y so if you see here there is a dot here uh, no i want to create dot where is that let's just see how we can do it just click here and hold it and go to arc center whatever you want you can use this click here and no create a dot here that's cool you can write its name in here let's just see in internet you see in this i see it's write its name in here so you can do it click here and you you click this this layer so everything that you create with this will be on this layer so click click here no let's click here and with a space rotate it and with tab pause it and go and change take height i think 0.5 maybe no it's not good let's just 0.8 and let again hit tab and go to true type phone type true type no you think you see it is okay let's go and click here and no we can change this 1.2 it is okay and click everywhere you want no i want to change this string let's just copy this name here copy it and go here double click on here you can change text in here and i will paste it here you see click here so it is okay i want i want this to be in center how we can do it just click here hold shift and click here then on your keyboard hit a a for align and go to here align vertical center it, it no it's telling you align who by whom I want to align this with this I don't want to change this position but I want to change this position so it I click here so I will by this I'm telling that Altium that I want this to be a reference click here it's no in a middle I want it be in middle horizontally so click here then click here and hit a on the keyboard and from here align horizontal center click here and no it is in middle that's okay that's so cool know that we create all we want in top overlay it will be shown white like this in this picture see that's okay for now let's let's now just create let's let's now just create our pads pin let's just see here you see we want 20 pin so no we have we should create 20 pin in here in which layer in top layer or bottom layer whatever layer you want 
this two layer you can create path so in top layer click here place pad and in here hit tap you see this pause altium and you can now change its value what is designator it we want to first create first one first pin this is one and what it is in here one so it will be connected to that link to that so do i want to be multi-layer no you see this is not a multi-layer you see it is surface mount so just top layer so if you go down in here you see you can change its shape let's just click here and choose rectangular that's good and let's just ch change its size you see in here it give us the size that we want it's b let's just find b b maximum is 0.3 so in y 0.3 is enough and for x you can decide it by yourself let's just put it here okay let's just put it here and right click to get rid of it you see this is one that we want to put in here but it will give us recommendation for what x value of it so i think it is good no what we want it is just one we want 20 so how we can do it we can copy and paste it this is a way and another way is this click here and create 20 of it let's just create 20 of it but let's just do something good with it if you go to edit and go to set reference and click center here you can you see it will be zero and zero it will be in zero and zero okay but when you want to decide that this in here will be zero, this in here will be zero and zero you edit set reference location and click here and no this is zero and zero you see that this is zero and zero but for now we, we want to do this let's just take it here so we want to create 20 pin of, of this so this is one i want to put i want to tell altium that this in center of this p this pad is zero and zero click edit set reference location and click here no it is in center let's just go here you see distance between two pins is e so e e is point point 65 okay point 65 so i hit create point 65 i don't have here so what i what i will do click here set global snap grid and point 65 you know from here this center to here is point 65 distance so i will click here and click here 20 time i create 20 of this you know it is so fast but there is a lot of better way see 9 and 10 we create 10 of it so we can copy and paste this and i will show you why we want to do this you know we want this to be in the middle of path so it it will be easier to solve there with hand so he is maybe better be to distance between each pad from here to here so how much is he he is 6.4 let's just copy and paste this copy it's now telling you what is the reference of this copy let's just click here copy it from here copy all of this from this point and no let's just change the grid let's just change the grid to this he he is 6.4 so grid set global grid 6.4 so you see we did copy it let's just paste it 
and you see that's okay we created and i will show you if it's correct or what let's just hit g again and change it to this maybe and one meal it is the smallest so we have it here we should just change this you see to 10 here we should change this to 11 this designator 11 12 there is a better way 13 what for now it's good So 20. That's cool. So how we can just move it to here so it, it will be good. Let's just see. We can drag and drop it, but it won't be accurate. So what we can do now? Let's just again change its position and so, uh, let's have, have some calculation. You know, it here in here you have D. Okay, you have D. Let's bring up calculator. You have D. Let's go to mode scientific. D is D is six point six six point six. Okay, and you have this P, and you have this E. Okay, how much of it? One E, two E, three E. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine e you have nine e plus you see you have it from middle of this pin. E is middle of this pin to middle of this pin is nine e. Nine e e is point sixty five. So nine e. multiply by. 0.65 and plus because e is in middle of pin plus 1b what is b b is equal let's just say that is equal 0 0.3 plus 0.3 and that's it this what what it is between this and this see let's just click here you between this and this okay let's just bring up another calculator and see what I'm talking about D is 6.6 .6. so 6.6 .6 minus 6.15 is this so this from here to here plus this to this is this value if we just divide it by 2 it is this value that from here to here is this value okay we should have this but because we want from middle of this to middle of this line here so let's just plus it with this half of this pin that is this pin is b b equal b equal 0.3 so let's just plus this point this so from middle of this pad to here is this value so let's have this for the rest of our work this value I will with control C I can copy it with right click I can copy it and now I have it let's just place this in here and I'm gonna say edit set reference location location of zero zero I want to be here so this is zero zero okay no location of this if I click tab here I can change its location x and y what should be in x x should be 
let's say for node zero because we rotated oh this is y let's just change this x to zero and put y you see y from here to here should be minus this value minus that's it and let's just have give him some minus x value that's okay and let's just put all of this in here again let's just do it again I want to say that this is 0 and 0 let's go to edit set reference location this is 0 and 0 and put grid on set global snap grid to to this e e is 0 0.65 0 0.65 so no I can just drag and drop this that's cool let's just drag and drop this as well so this is zero what is distance between this and this it should be e e is 0.65 so let's change grid to 0.65 that is correct and let's just choose this and put it on grid so now with that do this if we put zero zero to here edit set reference location to here its location is this and if you put that is correct let's just that is the value we had so let's just edit set reference location to here it, it should be the same it is the same see the value we calculated so for this here what we can do let's just show you something this is in the right place uh, we click here as well and hit a in your keyboard and just saying that align no you, you don't know which one is in top so we again say align vertical center and reference we do we want change this not this then we click here and this will will be changed so again i put zero zero in here edit set reference location to here and what what i want to do i select all of this and click this and put it on grid no if we test it again edit location to here its location should be this that's okay and if we go to bottom it's set reference location to here it is okay as well that's good so we create this footprint there is a lot of way there is a better way but for for now it is so good you can create all footprint you want by this technique let's just save this know that we have this let's just go to it's a schematic and add it add this footprint that we create to a schematic let's just browse and go to our library and search for ts sub 20 you see that's okay let's put let's, let's click okay and that's good let's just we don't want these two anymore so we remove it from project yes remove from project that's okay let's just save project and compile it to see if there is an error yes save it please so there is no error it compiled okay so now that we compile it we can use it so you see in 3d mode with if you go to 3d mode you don't have a 3d body here what we can do let's just show you something go to internet search 3d content central i hope it's okay and click here and in here just search ts sub 20 it will give us 3d body of it you see that's cool 
and let's just go to its page and download it it say it says please log in this is my email remember me please log in save it please and no it says what type you want just go here and choose a step file and no matter what you put here you don't want to zip it so i don't want to rate it so let's just hit download and download it it says it is 1.5.6 megabyte so save it and in here you go to our pc library and no just hit place 3d body click here no 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 in here you when you click this hit 3d body and put tab click tab hit tab in here and go to generic choose where did you save it hmm. let's just find it i did download it so it will be in downloading file where is it download and that's it let's open it and you see let's just so you see that if you click it here and right click it will put it there if you hit 3 on your keyboard you can see its 3d body but it's you should rotate it now click here and rotate it no it's not this and that's not as well you rotate it by x for now we wanna rotate it this much no it's backward so rotate it by no it is okay let's just click it and hit the space so we rotate it and put it here go to with hitting two on your keyboard go to this and click here then hit, hold shift and click here and then hit a for aligning and aligns vertical center just click here it is centered to here so again click here this is 3 body, 3d body that's saved in mechanical layer and click this and again hit a and align horizontal center and no use grid doesn't allow you to click here so hit g and put it on one mil so you can click with with middle mouse i by clicking middle mouse and hold it and move it forward it it zoom and unzoom so i zoom it and click in this line so let's just see it's in middle let's just hit three on your keyboard you see that's cool and that's okay you see it's 3d body let's just save it and again compile it so we can use it there is no error so we have what we want no let's just close our library project and create our project or a schematic and pcb project so we can build our own pcb let's just close this we did save it so we can close it no let's just create our pcb project file new it's no starting until now you just creating component library that's it no you want to use those library for your project let's click project pcb project you see it's creating a um, default project for you click here add new app to project a schematic so you create a schematic here and put it under this let's just save it it call it telling you to save it in uh, where do you want to save it this i want to save it in let's just go to see my project and in here pcb and call it what call it um relay 
module. I want to call it relay module. Let's just call it master relay module. This is what name I want to save this. And let's just save, save project, save it in this location and call it master, clear this and save it. So now we have a sheet that we can draw our own schematic. See, let's just go to that and see what is creating you see two file it's creating what one is project pcb and one is what schematic that we create here this is a schematic so because this project is not a big project we can just we can just have one one in here see one is enough in here you can this this is the libraries all the library that you have is here let's just click here and choose navit library and in here we just search esp so we place it in here that that's our esp and right click to get rid of all the other you see this is a star why this is a star because you didn't choose a designator what we should do now let's just clear this you can do this here let's just double click it and choose a designator in here you can choose u question mark that's okay you can use it here so altium will will decide which number should this question mark have that's okay let's just go to the library again and use our MCU that we created maybe it's not in here you see that's it it's just our library is duplicated so this is the one that we want we can't let's just Go to libraries and where the install where it is installed this is not our library that we uh, want to use and we did so it, this is a duplicate so i remove it and close this so there will no mistake just click here and click and search for our mcu that we created place it see that's it right click to get rid of it all the other so let's just know you see it has this by itself we don't want to change it here because in library we did put it there so that's okay now we have all we want and from the other libraries that every that altium provide for us we can create our own pcb let's just save this save all so now what we want let's just open our Let's just open our docs to see what we want. And we place it, these two, what we want. Let's just, just go to the library. We want um, a DC jack. So we start from um, power supply. So DC jack. That's it, a DC jack. Let's just place it. I rather put it here and right click to get rid of it. So no. Input voltage is five volt and over relays is five volt. So let's just place a note here that input voltage is 5 volt it's good to have a note everywhere it's like commenting 
in programming so that's okay now I wanna just look at here go to just features you see its voltage can be between 2.4 and 5.5 .5. so um, I think it's better to be 3.3 and why let's just download ESP um, I want to use ESP 7s you see ESP 7s is different from ESP 7 so let's just download it let's just download its data sheet download it open it I want to see what is its voltage that we want that it want you see its footprint is not what we designed so we should go and change it we will change it just it doesn't have any bookmark so we should just go down and see its voltage parameters and it can be 3 to 3.6 so it should be 3.3 so we know we want let's just delete this and create it again in future so because ESP 7s need 3.3 so we use 3.3 for this me MCU as well so for price to be efficient I use LM I use LM just this is search for libraries search in here you can search for libraries its name should be equal to whatever no i just want it to be contained with a star a star is whatever before and i want to find this this is a lm lm 11 17 this is so popular let's just search to see it can't find it so where we can find it we should search it on internet but there is a lot of library that I want to show you. Let's just create a folder here or just go to drive C program file find Altium. Altium is in program file Altium and create a folder in here and name it m library my library this is an old library that i have that i will upload it for you this is old library that i updated all the time and you can use it there is a lot of a lot of component in it so we can use it but no i want to add what altium have in their sites and use it in my Altium. How, how can I import it? Let's just import this first. We go to Altium, click libraries and in install library, install from file. Let's just go to Altium, drive C, program files, Altium, my library and click here. You see we install it and now we can check it. This is my old library. You see there is a lot of it, it has 80 mega from old days. There is a lot of thing that we can use now and it's not old. Everybody use it. But let's just download Altium libraries. Search Altium Unified 
component unify library or unify component unify component click here you see all these libraries that is here you can download you see if you search altium altium unified library and click here download all and open this with click of middlemost you, you can open it or right click open a new tab and close this by middlemost you can see that you can download all the library here download all libraries in single zip file let's just download it and wait until it downloaded you see in this library that we want to download there is a lot of libraries and we don't want to just install each one there is a way that we can just put it in search engine of Altium but don't show it don't install it by one by one you search it here and if it has your, your component that you want you can install it that is the easiest way but when when I give you two library one is this and one that is Navid these two you want to install because uh, there is a lot of component that you use a lot so just install these two the way that I show you and just this unified component extract it somewhere I will show you what you should do with it let's just go to M library and create a folder here maybe not whatever you want let's just this to be finished create a new folder here open this as well and call it unified lib or whatever you want it's open let's with control and a select all of it open unified lib and drag and drop it here and wait so you see there is a lot of library that you don't have time to install all of it just copy and paste it and in altium let's just it do its work and in altium just library search path just go to path no in here just add and click here this three dot and go to program file altium unified lib click ok click ok again click refresh and you see all the library that you want to search in and please close it now now you want it lm 11 17 so click search and you say just contain it 11 17 but maybe there is something after it or before it so with a star i'm telling altium that no matter what after it or before it just search whatever that it ha that contains this this so let's just search in component library on path click here for library on path you see just click here again and again go to program files altium and my libraries hit ok so this is the path that you want to search this is for this search let's just search it you see in it find it very well that's okay it's it was in my old library because i i use it a lot it is cheap it is easy to use uh, it has some problem but it worked till now with no difficulty so let's just stop it and place this let's just place it i place it here and right click to get rid of it so maybe put its name in above of it 
it's better to be like this it's more readable and i think that this pin that is in middle is uh, 5 volt so what what should i do just click here and connect this to via in so for for us to know where should i connect to let's just download its data sheet lm 1170 let's just search for it that's it you can download it but i want to download from muser because i want to buy it from here let's just open it you see all the data sheet you have you should save it on your project docs folder that is so important let's just go to this esp and save it there first and go to uh, lm again save it there save as my computer and in maybe let's just open it for us and i will choose another path for it it's it's like mcu it's processor so that's it let's save it and in lm let's just save this as well click here and this is a power supply so let's just call it power go to its folder and save it so you can see that it can give us 3.3 .3, so that's okay and what it wants required if the regulator is located far from the power supply filter it is far from power supply filter so we should have these two capacitor as a filter in it so you see that it says tantalium is good this is a cap capacitor so let's just use 10 microfarad at the input and 10 microfarad at output so whatever it need let's just see if it need another thing you see there is a lot of type of lm1117 one of them is adjustable with r1 r2 you can set what is v out voltage that you want you see in here it says 10 microfarad and 100 microfarad i i think it is better to use these two than just 210 microfarad so you see in here is it's just drawing a lot of figure for you how you should do it let's just minimize this and go to here we want two capacitor if you go to my old library and search cap ceramic we want surface mount and let's just make this bigger make this bigger we want in cap ceramic you you see i designed a lot of package for it so it's have its own size i will use 12 10 size 12 10 size so you can use whatever capacitor you have in your storage so if you have 12 6 package in your project you can use it so it is big enough to use whatever you want and let's place it with a space rotate it and put it in input let's just hit tab and change its value in parameters you can change its value so you see 10 microfarad is good enough Vol voltage is should be more than 10 volt so it is safe it will be safe let's just put enter put enter and or ask enter or ask place it here and on the output put let's just double click on it and go to parameters and make it 100 microfarad so that's okay let's just wire it now from here to here like it said in data sheet if you go to let's just see it 
if you go to here it doesn't it it's not adjustable so it it's like this it's like this because it is fixed output it is 3.3 volt output you see in here 2.85 output volt output you have so that's good let's just connect this as well and you want a ground ground is here and here it should be connected let's just click in this icon and click here here and here it all should be connected to each other so let's put, put one in here and align it with this and connect all of this to, to it to this no you see we connected here and let's just have this no what it sh we should tell it that it is fixed 3.3 volt lm 1117 so we use it like this fixed so whoever wanna buy this know that it is lm 1117 3.3 volt and no we want to use its output how we can use it we should tag it if we click here and hold it you can select one of these let's say we select one in here and click here to put it there and let's double click on it and change its name to 3.3 v that's okay and one another thing that i want to do i want to say that its color should be something like um red how we can do this do this let's just go to view set net colors and choose red because red is three point you can you can just don't do it but it is better it it is so much better if you do this but you can you if you want you can don't do it don't do it then let's click here and it make it red let's make ground let's just select all of this ground and Put it there you see it's just root is extra is just stretching so and put color in ground as well view maybe its color should be mm, blue you see no you know that all of this is connected together it's so much readable now know that you have your um, power supply section you can use this place drawing tools rectangle click here to here and double click on it don't feel it please and border should be medium and its color is good so why we wanted we wanted this because we want to comment for it so let's just click this icon here and hit tab in here change its value power supply hit enter and put it there maybe just bigger in size that's good let's bold it and that's okay if if someone trying to read your schematic he or she will know that this is a power supply supply and it is so much readable now now we have over 3.3 volt let's just save it now save all that's okay for now so let's now go to relay section and from library and check relay <coughs> i will try and find a relay that i want i think that's it should see another so i want to use this relay i click on its footprint that I want and click place I want two of this so first I create first one and then I will copy and paste it for the second one um, no I need the circuit that for isolating this relay how we can do that it's just say um, you see this is a this PCB project that I have is a 
module so everyone can use it for now we don't know which pin they need so we will take all pins out so we want a header i think this this will be good you see 3d model of it i don't want this i don't want this i don't want this maybe this is good let's just go to another one i don't want this no no i think that's what i want okay so let's place it and with this space i will rotate it let's just that's good and no i wanna these two be in the middle so i will select both of them hit a and um, align where align horizontal center so that's good let's go and connect all we want you know all the programmer they have used to have this common pin to be in the middle and these two be in the sides so what i want to do just click here and click here and in here i want to put a net on here just go to place net label and no with tab just say common pin relay one i click it here and drag it so it will be more readable and no just copy and paste it with a space and i put it here let's just make it and if i hit if i drag it it will create this line after it but if i hit control and hold it i can move this freely and i can connect it here so that's okay so now i want to connect this to here and this to here so it is easy that's it and for the next that's okay let's just do something for this grid grid is so big here i don't want i don't want it to be this color so let's just change it go to go to tools preferences to grid and change its color go to a standard change it to this you see now you can see this better that's our first relay its output no i want to tell this relay is uh, capable of uh, 7 ampere 7 amp so this trace and these these three should be capable of 3 amp how we can calculate how much how rule should be there is a software for that let's just show you you can google everything and find something for what you want and what you want do it in an easy way you can find it on the internet don't under underestimate google so no let's just type just search saturn pcb just search Saturn PCB and go to its site and download the last book. I'm not it. I'm sorry. Oh no, I don't have the company. My email is this. Uh, 
I don't want to put my phone number in here. <laughs> what, should, what should I do? <laughs> Something. That's fake. <laughs> Please just don't call this. Just sub submit. And now download it. 10 megabyte. You see, this is a software that do all your calculating for you. For now, just go to conductor property. We want to see how many amp can go through a trace. Plain, present, maybe, I think. Yes, parallel, no, it, we don't want to parallel anything, and we want a 7 amp, so let's just see, to see, uh, let's click solve, I think 32 is, no, it's DC, no, it doesn't matter a lot, let's just, No, that's good. 80 mils. We want 80 mils in here. Eighty mils, so the trace can pass seven m. So how we should tell Altium that we want seven m? through this line just click here and click here and just hit tab and change it amp 7 I just name it this amp 7 rule that's good in here in here I wanna mm, define my rules so let's just add one and in here just click here and okay max minimum width should be 18 preferred 18 and maximum whatever it is okay let's just click here so it will be updated and let's just hit okay so we create a rule that will be on our PCB. Let's just hit ESC and no. Just hit G on your keyboard. Let's just hit create one of these and hit G on, on the keyboard. You see it is 10 millimeter, it is 15. I think that's good. You see, it's snapping good. So let's just use it here. This line is important. Control C and Control V for pasting. Make it here another and Control Control V again and we say that this is seven amp as well. For now, that's good. This tree, this tree is seven uh, has seven amp rules. There is a better way to do this. Let's just clear all of this and if you click here you can create blanket let's just create this blanket here you see this blanket 
contain all these three pin so we can with the space I will rotate it we can just assign these rules to here and rules will be applied to these three and that's okay it's so better to to set a net level to all of this so when we go to PCB design it will be so better to work with so let's just place net level with a space I will rotate it and with tab I will change it it is pin normal close of relay one and in here let's just hit tab again this is for relay one and it is normal open it is so much better when you just set net level to every trace you have let's just make this bigger and that's okay so this rule will be applied to all of this let's just save it no i want to control this relay with optcoupler how we can do that if you not sure let's just go to google and opto coupler circuit for driving relays let's just see if there is any useful I think this is good let's just use this so I wanna in here I wanna optocoupler let's just go to library and search for it you see my optical this is opto isolator in my my lip version 4 and see it's maybe I want to use its SMD so I want to use this maybe I can change it after in future but for now I want this let's just place it oh this is big <laughs> Uh, let's just do this and you know our sheet maybe maybe is so small let's just change our sheet how we can change the size of this no its size is a let's just go to property and in here just select a3 see this is no is a bigger sheet and we can work with it do work with it so now that we have space let's just drag it up and put it here for now what we want to know for driving it we can use this for driving it maybe it's better to drive it with um, a transistor but for now let's just drive it with with my MCU or MCU pin and how we can, how we want to do that let's just we we want a resistor so search for one it's this size is good let's just place it and for so hit tab and change its uh, its value its value is in parameters and let's just change it to let's say this and in future we can uh, change it again so don't worry if it's not good we will change it just hit and connect it and in here I wanna put another LED so whenever it is on we can see it let's just go to library and put LED this size is good let's, let's just place it that's good I think 
and let's just connect it together and let's just arrange all of this so it is more beautiful now uh, better way is this to just connect you see this is a 5 volt that is coming in let's just put this here see so now we can use this 5 volt let's just go up and click here and connect it so it there is 5 volt here let's just put a net color here as well go to view set net color and change it to this let's just again net color and go to this so now you can see that this is connected to this and that's okay and from here it's just go to some pin let's just place a net on it net label a space relay one control pin that's okay so we can control our relay with this pin in this side what we want to do let's see what it do in here there is two resistor so we put it there maybe it's better no no let's just create this and then go to next section we want two resistor i can copy and paste this Control c to copy Control v to paste with the space i will rotate it that's it we want another one here that's it this is one kilo let's enter double click on this one let's go to parameter and 10k for this one i think it's it's what it says but we can change it in future of course and let's just connect it for now so of course because we want to use 5 volt it won't be uh, completely isolated but it's better to do it this way than just connect it to our uh, MCU pin maybe we change this in future but for now let's just use this and in here see from let's just use something that we have a lot let's just go to library let's just search in here just contain this value it is a transistor that is cheap and it's so good let's just search it until it's I mean, let's just do another thing with it so 5 volt in here let's just drag it a little so we can see that it's connected let's just place ground in here as well and hold and drag it so we know that it's connected to 5 volt let's just it, let it it will be finished that's it this is the one that we want let's just stop it now and see that's it this is okay let's just place it no it says do you want to install it because if we didn't install it till here we want to use it it says do you want to install its um, library i want to say yes i want to and put it let's just go and put it here and we connect it to here and let's just go and see what it is you see there is a transistor here for protection let's just use it what i want to use just go to 
my library of course you can create all of this by your own you know that you know how to do that and i will connect it to here and drag hold and drag it let's just see it will be connected to let's just drag it here so we can connect this to it that's okay for now and this should connect to ground that's okay and what i can what can i do for now let's just mm, drag and drop it there and maybe i will rotate this You see, I didn't get this, so there is so much problem with it. So what we can do here, let's just do this and take this here. We have a lot of space. Let's just put it on the grid. That's okay. And no, we can connect this. Let's just connect it. And connect this side as well. With backspace, I can clear this out and again do this. How oh, you see, just click here and here. No, this is what I want. In here when I zeroed this pin on MCU this will be on this will be on so this will draw current when there is a current here there will be a voltage here that current I is a current that drawing from here and R is 10k so there is a voltage here and this will be on when this will be on it will this side will be connected to ground and this side is already connected to 5 volts, so it will be on. And I think that's it. We don't want anything else for now. Just let's place it. Drawing to rectangular. We want to say that it is relate 1. Let's just double click here and don't fill it border medium it's, is good let's just change its border color to green maybe and you know let's just have some of this hit tab and say relay zero one and let's just change that's i think it's okay and let's just pull it let's just hit esc on keyboard that's good you know that this is relay one now let's just copy with Ctrl C and paste another one here and now let's just change all of these to Relay 2. This is Ctrl pin for Relay 2 and this 5 volt is ok, everything is ok, we should change this to Relay 2 and this to Relay 2, this to Relay 2 and this as well so we have two relays now and now we want just two input and we want to do it with optical pair input detection circuit with opto pair so let's just see there is a lot of circuit we can use. This is this all is good. All of this is good, but I wanna just I think this is good, but we don't want this transistor because we don't want a lot of current. So maybe this is good. But let's just see another thing. 
in here let's just use this simple one in here and I think that's okay let's just go to Altium and copy and paste this here you see in this side what we want we want one of these for input let's just copy and paste it and this side that is connected to one of its pin let's just connect it and this one is let's just see it's with the resistor connected to the ground um, let's just copy and paste this resistor, Control c Control v and I disconnected, let's just change its value to this and I will change it later of course and in here, uh, what I want to do, I want to just tell um, client to you should drive it, not I because this is isolated input this is so much important that you have isolated input so I will just connect it to this when uh, a client just put uh, let's say 12 volt here and it's ground here it this will be on and we will know it by MCU so that's okay let's just copy and paste this in the bottom because we want just two of these and you know let's if you click here and we want to invert it in y direction just click y you see you invert it in y direction okay and you can connect this to here let's just a little down that's good for build cloud and connect this pin to here so it has two input it it should provide its ground so it will be so uh, isolated so that's okay for now let's just we have a space so let's just bring it down and we have two input now let's just see what we should do we should pull it up in here let's just copy and paste one of these for pulling these two up that's okay and let's just connect this to here and no let's just a little down what we should connect to here because we want to just read it by our MCU it should be the voltage that MCU have so 3.3 .3 should be in here of course it can be 5 volt because our MCU capable of doing that but it, maybe it's better to do this let's just connect this as well and copy and paste this that's okay and it is in in his way so let's just bring all of this a little down maybe here and can bring this down here as well so it has its own space so um from here you can just put a net label here that is what input one that's cool and this is input two let's just drag it and hit and hold control and move it to here so I think this is good for now let's just make it let's just hold control and change it to here that's so much readable now and from here what we should do should just connect it to our ground 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 let's just drag it here so we see its color that's it let's just place place drawing tools and better way is this that we just copy the existing one and paste it here and change its
color and size. Let's just which color. Copy and paste this text and change it to inputs. That's okay for now. We have two relays, two input that we can, can connect. It. Let's just save it. And now we should go for MCU and ESP. Let's just save all. So now let's go to our MCU. Accidentally I deleted ESP, so again I will bring it. Let's just go to our library and search for ESP7 and place it. That's it. Of course, for practice, I wanna just use this. And after that, after we design all of our PCB, after that, we wanna change its footprint. So in that case, you see how you should do it professionally. Um, first of all, let's go to um, its data sheet to see how we can do it. Let's go just to our project and go to Dykes. MCU and first of all, I think use this data sheet. It is our MCU data sheet. Let's just its block diagram that with the design uh, what I want to find out I want to find how we can program it and what it need so unchip debugger is so much important in here uh, uses this and this and spin to interface with the OCD system when designing a system where OCD will be used the following restriction must be considered for correct operation so these three pin with ground and BCC we need them you see we know which which pin we should use so we can program it and let's just it's um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't might say a lot let's just go to clock system and you see it's it has internal um, oscillator so we don't we don't need to use external oscillator but it 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 may be better to use external but in this case maybe we don't want it so we use uh, internal oscillator and we don't want anything uh, externally let's just go to power management and this is for going to the uh, power down and stop we don't need to do anything in here um, what else do you want Maybe we use pin interrupt for input. Uh, I will decide it later. For no, it's okay. What what do we get from this data sheet? We get that this in circuit programming used um, uh, this three pin. So let's just go to um, pin configuration to see where where they are, and let's find out where they are. Let's just search it. Do you want pin reset? These two pin, uh, 1.6 and uh, 0.2 is um, these two pin that we want. Let's just see uh, pin 1.6 if it's okay. 1.6, let's just find it. Where is it? This is reset. 1.6 this is all CDDA so let's just again go to OCD programming to see where is this is it physically located on the same pin zero that's it let's just go to pin configuration again this is reset point two is here that's it so we need these three let's just Go and find it here. Um, we want this. Let's just put a net label so we find it again. 
hit label and uh, this let's just hit tab and change its name 1.6 and copy and paste this you can you can use ctrl c to copy it and let's just click here and the one that is uh, that we are using for reset is 2.0 and we call it rst that's it and for point two let's just copy its name point two that's it i think it's okay now let's just bring them out hold control and bring it here and hold it again no it's not working let's just use control z this much i think is good use control and that's okay and for them from left to right because we don't want to select this mcu so we can go back here i think it's good so what we should do now is just put it on the grid and go to library from my old library search for header we want five if we if we use ground and vdd it will be so good to program it we want reset and this two save so we want five pin and that's good this kind of um, pin is good and let's just put it here or because ground and vcc is here let's just put it there and i did tell you what i want to do here i want to just put ground in here yeah and put vcc for three let's just copy and paste it it is so much better copy and paste Control c to copy and let's go here and paste it here and connect it from here to here that's it and after that let's just um maybe maybe it's better to first of all reset with uh, maybe it's better to be um, close to ground let's just uh, hit control uh, hold control and bring up in this here connect this reset here it will be between these two these two is um less noisier than this that is um, a square wave clock out of it so uh, there won't be a lot of noise in here and i think it's better that we use this as a ground and this as 3.3 why because all the crosstalk or um crosstalk and the noise that uh, came out from these two pin that is clock and this is a square wave that has a lot of crosstalk and um, noise so it will go to ground so let's just delete this and change their position and that's it let's just connect it now this will be ground click it and hit a space to rotate it and connect it now that i think it's so much okay you can't possibly now if you just mistake and um, you didn't connect your programmer right it won't blow up your um, your mcu so let's just copy and paste this bring it till here and hit hold control and bring it here another one control c to copy it and control v to paste it here and hold control to bring it back here and maybe reset should be here it, it will be so much readable now this is for programming of this mcu um, let's just control c copy and paste it here so we connect btz to 3.3 and ground to here let's just connect them no it will be on and it's okay let's just choose these three let's just from left to right no, left to right 
we just um, select them and that's okay uh, I think it will be good to me here so it is uh, it is good for uh, this erroring uh, I will tell you what it is I will show you what what it what it, this error means first of all first thing that it say it tell us the error because it is still um, it still doesn't have uh, a designator and this is a question mark we, we and when we annotate annotate it so it will be uh, it, this error will go away and there is so much error that we can uh, correct them I will show you so what we should do now so with this we can program it we don't want to um, we don't want it to be connected to power to um, program it because we bring out this uh, power and ground so it we, we can program it even if um, overboard is shut down so and for this uh, power pin we should uh, put a bypass capacitor and let's just go to my new um, library and search for cap and use this in size let's just place it here uh, we don't we need two of them one is uh, 100 nanofarad and uh, another one i think uh, 10 nanofarad or one nanofarad we can change it in future let's just go this go to parameter and go to 10 nanofarad and let's just copy and paste ground let's just uh, so we can do it in middle let's just go down and do it here we have so much space now so let's copy and paste this that's okay copy and paste this and connect them so it is for noise noise of power supply with this you filter all the noise so that's okay whatever what do you need for connecting these these four pin that we hear we connected uh, after we we did all of our uh, pcb routing so then we decide where to put it so it it will be easier to do that let's just this here and copy and paste this that's I think okay let's copy and paste this and call it MCU so we did design this let's just bring this up to grid that's okay don't want all this space let's just go to datasheet if there is anything we want uh, there is a watchdog no and you are i want all of this but i will connect it later for no just an application programming just that's good i don't need it for now click me that's okay reset auxiliary feature what's auxiliary feature Let's just go down this way to see if there is anything so no that's okay i think that's enough let's go to esp and let's just bring up its data sheet you see i want to use esp 7s but i i designed i designed it as a esp 7 why i did this because i want it i want you to sh i want you to see how we can change a footprint after we uh, develop and create our pcv after that you see you uh, you build a pcv you create a pcv and after one month whoever that um, uh, that tell you to do this uh, wants some changes so i will show you how to do changes so quickly that's why this is still ESP7 and not ESP7S. Um,
let's just go with that because uh, these two is so much alike but uh, the difference is in their size its size is so smaller so let's go down to see what we need in uh, our it's 3.3 .3 is okay for it and what else That's okay, it's just like ESP7. So I want to find out where where is the pins that we need to program it, to connect to it and program it. Debugging need this pin. UART1TXT can be used to print debugging information. No, it's not. Let's just go down and see. Enter the one is now package information. So this is the pins that we want to for programming it. So VCC and enable should be connected to each other and go to 3.3 and ground we want and TX and RX. So first of all, what we want, let's just copy and paste. Copy and paste is so much important. Don't try to write anything, just copy and paste because it, um, when you're writing something, uh, you make a lot of mistake. Let's just do this and for Grand, do this with a space, I, I'm rotating it, so let's connect all of it. So you see why that color is so much important. So. For this, I want, I want this um, filter as well. So let's just put this filter here for, for now. Let's just put it on the grid here for this. And then um, we want these two. So let's place net table, net label on it. And the, this is txd. This is rxd. Let's just uh, change its name to ESP7 ESP ESP TXD. That's it. ESP TXD RXD. Because uh, maybe in our project there is a lot of TXD and RXD. So with this, we know which one it is. Let's just bring it here and with holding control, put it there and and just connect this chip enable pin to to VCC so it will be enabled um, that's okay for now um, let's just go here again it doesn't need reset I don't know if it does need or not but in this case it now, as shown in figure, we use it to connect it to the computer software to through the serial port. Computer can be it is so it doesn't need reset. So this four pin is enough. Let's just go to library and to uh, my own old library and find header that has four pin. Let's just put it here and exactly like this. Three point three here. Let's just put it on the grid. Point three, ground here. So I will put it here. That's okay. And RXD here and TXD. I, I did uh, control. I use control C to copy it and control V to paste it. So let's just bring it all to here maybe uh, and uh, hold control and bring its label here. And with this connect these two as well so with with all this you can um, conf you can program this so let's just make it let's just put it on the grid here so it will be closer um let's go to its data sheet and see see the pins again
you see um uh, there is two uh you art you see that uh, there is uart zero and there is uart one so let's just use uh, one of them to be connected to the mcu so pin a, these two pins in, is for programming it so let's just see this two pin user uart zero is for programming it let's just connect uart one that is gpio2 Control c to copy it and gpio2 gpio2 let's just place net label hit gpio2 gpio2 hit tab and copy and paste uh, and paste this uart1 txt so on gpio2 let's just hit esc and bring it over here and with uh, holding control just put it there so let's go to data sheet to see use art one rxd where is use art one rxd and where is it this is use art let's just search it control c control f and control v oh you are one It's just you are. Uh, where is it? Um, no, I don't know that I can use this UART one. So maybe it's better to use UART zero for connecting to. Um, for connecting to our MCU. Okay, uh, so we can uh, so let's just use this because we we want uh, UART one RXD. It doesn't have UART one RXD, so we just use this uh, UART ESP TXT and ESP RXD. It it ha it will has two function. One for programming this, and two is for uh, connecting to this. That's okay. Uh, let's just. Control C, Control P, this here. Maybe a little up and copy and paste this again and call it ESP. So this is okay for now. Let's just find out where is RX, RX D and TXT of this. Let's go to its datasheet and to pin configuration and find out where is RXD and TXD of this. Let's just find out um, RXD1. Let's just find the zero. Maybe we want to use this one. Uh, RXD, let's just search it. Control F. So Control put zero here to find it. Oh, we can find it. Let's just again search it. txt it's just saying it is txt and rxd and let's just find if there is anything else i know that it has two uart maybe let's just go up serial port txt rxd and this let's just use these two and uh, these two pin can be txt or rxd that is so cool i didn't see it you can just use point six, point seven, point txt or xd. Let's just use them. Um, it, let's just use because in default, uh, it it just saying that you can use these two pin for txt, and again you can change it. That is so cool. That is so much cool. Let's just uh, this is a default. So point point six is txt point six is the txt that's it let's just place um net label call it mcu txt so that's okay and this oh no 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 it's rxd here and txt above it rxd so click it you see i did a mistake here let's just hit uh, hold control and bring it here from left to right select this and bring it here 
so you see that it is like this no, I want to just connect these two together. Uh, how we can do that? We can just from left to right select just all these and oh no, just with shift I can uh, click to these two and bring it till here and just copy and paste txt and put it on rxt of this and copy and paste rxd and put it on txt of this so see it's no connected we know that these two are no connected together so what else we should do now when we finish this design i will change a lot in it so you will see how you can make changes and you should know that always you need to change something and you shouldn't be afraid of that so uh, it's, it's good for now let's just uh, change this name to you question mark so i can will decide what what will be it will be um, in a of question mark so you will see it later so i want to just connect a um, button here so with this button we decide you now where uh, we decide what we should do uh, in software so a programmer want this um, let's just go to use tag switch so uh, i think let's just find the better one so i think it is good it is a surface mount and i will use it and put it here um, so um, let's just connect this side to ground connect it and this side we need a pull up let's just make this bigger and bring it all up so we need pull up so copy and paste this resistor and with control V just paste it here and let's just connect this it is for pull up let's just copy and paste this 3.3 and with control V paste it here connect it that's okay and uh, with this uh, we want to read it from software in ESP uh, to see what mode should we enter uh, don't worry about it programmer want this so um, let's just For now, connect it to this and we will change it. In here, let's just delete this and put 3.3 here. In this, let's just bring it in this side. I think here is good. So we can put this here. Um, let's just call it. Um, no, maybe it's better to um, just bring it down and place a note here, drawing tools, place a note here and say mode button, so small, that's okay. Um, maybe we will change this. What for no it's okay. Uh, let's see another thing in ESP. I wanna a status LED, so let's just make this let's just go to here and search for LED. This size is okay and put LED maybe here and we need a resistor here i think it's it, it, it will be better to do it like this just connect it for now connect this as well and to this for now to this change so 
that's okay and then pull it off copy and paste this from here to here and connect this to this so every every time that this pin is zero this will be on and let's just change this parameter to this value we can change it later that's okay let's just know we want this reset pin to have this tag switch and so we want this to be bigger than this just bring it all to here and this as well copy and paste this with holding shift touching it to here that's no okay let's just change this and bring it all way to here it's okay what we want to do we want to have this reset pin um let's see reset pin reset module it doesn't say it's um let's just see it this is saying if it's active low or active high it doesn't say i think let's just do let's just pull up it and use let's just click here 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 with holding shift we can copy and paste all of select all of these and copy it and paste it here so this is for reset i think that's okay um let's just connect it now and delete this and connect it to here because we have 3.2 here as well so and this is so much important please just place this here esp reset so you can use it um it may be better to just let's just um change this to here and make it better in here and put a capacitor here maybe it will be a good idea let's just go to my new library and search for cap use this cap and i think that will be good so every noise that coming to a reset will be filtered by this let's just bring it up bring this all up bring this up and click all of this and just take all of this here and now let's just um, let's just do this and connect it properly that's good and connect this to ground let's copy and paste this ground that's no okay so now we have a reset that we can um, reset it with this mcu maybe we want to reset uh, maybe we want a watchdog in this mcu and reset this by this reset pin like watchdog so let's just copy and paste this here to here and says reset button of course it can see it but it may be good to put this here and till now everything is okay you can program this you have reset button you have a, st a status button you have another button to just uh, whatever you want to do with it you can program it uh, there is a filter cap here and um, that's okay no what we should do we did connect all this together so what we should do let's just go to tools annotation you, you know what i want to do i want to just say annotate all of this please altium automatically say what it is what is this designator of this this will be r1 this will be r2 what it what is designator of this so it will be linked from here to our pcb let's just go to tools annotate and let's just say annotate uh, schematics qu uh, quietly it says there is 
44 uh, designator you are update yes no you see it is d3 it is r4 r5 you you have everything here uh the a lot of error no it's just kind there is uh, not a lot of error but there is error you should uh, consider all of it uh, and get rid of all errors so that's okay for now what we should do now uh, for now we should just go to pcb editor what we should do now in our project in our project we, sh we have just a, a schematic sheet we now should create a pcb sheet so add new to project and create a pcb sheet to it so let's just create this so it is our pcb let's just zoom out you see this is zero zero and let's just save it and call it um, uh, whatever you want to do and um, what I want to call it master relay module that's okay and we will save it so it will be created what we should do now we should just save all and go to design and update PCB document this PCB document that we created now let's just update it uh, from this it will it, it just telling you that I want to add you see add all of this component to this document to this PCB document let's go down and let's just validate changes you see if there is a problem you see all of them is ticking so all is good and this is just for rules and in here it's just saying that do you want to add room you don't want to do this for now um, and let's just execute changes close this and you see all the components that you have you see all the net color is okay and you have all you want to have so it is okay for now let's just save it uh, I want to do something else. Let's just go to my old library and find this test point and uh, create a test pin. Uh, there is somewhere you need a test pin. So where in here, I think you want to measure if there is five volts at the input. So just hit tab here and um, in the comment, just um, write five volt. So. This is for 5 volt and one for ground you want to measure it g and d that's it and you want a 3.3 volt and let's just to you no no not designator just a comment um 3.3 volt and another ground for 3.3 volt we want some ground so we can measure a stuff this is ground so let's just put it there so everyone can see it that's good that's okay let's just again go to tools animate and animate schematic quietly we add four um, component let's just have it and again go to design update pcb and add these four. you see um, we want to add these four component you see that's okay uh, you see in here it's just remove rules and again in here add all of them we don't want room to be created in this case we don't want it um, you see here that remove it again add it why because uh, maybe in in these um, changes that you do uh, you did change any of this this here so it will be updated if you change any let's just validate them um uh, it says this pin uh, there is not there is not any of this pin uh, why there is not because this um uh, we didn't add it no that we added it will be okay just close it you see for test point is okay uh, we want another thing and that's a screw place let's just go to library and search for screw that's it let's just place four of them in for our pcb and again whatever component we add to our schematic go to tools annotate annotate quite quietly let's just hit yes and update our pcb we can validate that's okay let's just um, don't allow to uh, create room and execute it that's 
that's okay and this is for that we want um let's just start from this side just uh, on the edge of the board you see on the edge of the board uh, if you want to shape the board you should go to maybe whatever layer you want you know this is a top layer this is bottom layer this is mechanical layer that you can use but there is if you click here there is a keep out layer whatever you put here will be uh, in a keep out layer so let's just go to place and go to line and uh, it it uh, automatically go to drill drawing uh no matter this uh you click here you see uh, grid in here is five mil let's just change it um to um let's just say this and go to place again line and so it will be it will snap here so maybe we want just let's just go with this uh, you can't um uh, create it with hand good so what you should do first you should go to edit and uh, origin set you should um, define what is your reference click it so it is zero and zero okay and again go to keep out layer go to place align it will go to draw um, drill drawing it's okay let's just go to uh, let's just hit j on your keyboard and again l so you can tell its position you see it's in mil so but you can use a uh, millimeter as well so i want to uh, have something like um, 100 millimeter okay j l again i i did forgot to it starts from uh, zero so again from zero and that's okay so we build what we want again let's just uh this is 100 jl again and uh, x location will be 100 millimeter so click please uh, hit enter it will start here uh hit enter and uh, some uh, some um uh, please hit enter one, one more time and again jl and for now just go from y direction for 100 millimeter and that's it again jl x should be zero now that's it jl again y should be zero again that's it so with right click you get rid of everything else and you see that's the board outline that you uh created let's just uh select one line and hit tab to select all of it when you hit tab you select all of it go and then go to tools board shape define from selected object so you see the board is just this now we can just click here and make it smaller again we select this and hit tab to select all the line here and go to design board shape and define uh, from selected so it our board will be here if you hit three on your keyboard you see it in 3d dimension if you um, hold shift and with right click you can rotate it in every direction you want so let's just hit two again and uh, you know that first of all we should um, what we should do with, the, with this test point let's just click one of them and you see we don't want to uh, show the, the designator so click here so you don't show the designator and you want to show comment for it so it will be ground that you see here and for this we want to change its um, uh, font let's just click on this gnd and um, change its font type to true type and bold it you see that's okay but well, you can uh, make it bigger but i think it's enough for now and uh, there is another thing that you want to do here just invert it uh, in border mode let's just margin board should be 10 mil so uh, you see border that around gnd is bigger so you see that let's just do it another time let's just double click here and don't show this and show this gnd here you see this gnd click on this text and change its uh, font type uh, click bold so it it will be bold and invert it please and go to margin border and 
put 10 or whatever you want in there so you see that's okay but there is a time that you want to do uh, two things together so i will select these two together and in here i say don't show designator but show it their comments you see all their comments is no showing see you did two things two things at what one time let's just hold shift and select both of these and go uh, and change its font make it bold inverted and margin border should be 10 so we did two things at the same time so let's just we want a ground here we want the 5 volt that is here and i think it's better to be uh, close together so we can probe it let's just Put it at the corner of a board and i want to know what i want to do i want these to be aligned together let's just uh, select both of these and hit a on your keyboard and says that um this time let's just say uh, align left align to your left you see they're aligned now and these two uh, should be that's good i think because this is just silk screen that's good for now you know that this is gnd and this is um uh, five volt it's okay and after that you see let's just save all of this after that we uh, just put all this then this then this then we can go to here this and then this then this i will show you how i want to do that no we want to just know uh, how my uh, how much is my board size uh, let's just click here and click the standard dimension and uh, let's just go first to uh, let's say mechanical uh, 15 you can go to wherever you want but i want to know just go to mechanical 15 and name it right just click here and um, click linear dimension and in here you see you should just click a snap to guide a snap to object and a snap to board outline so you can snap to it it's just again click and you see no it's just a snapping to board board edge uh, in here it, it just showing us and let's just go here from there to here it's just showing us the distance between them you can click everywhere anywhere you want so if you double click in it and go to primary unit you can change it to millimeter so it is 100 millimeter it's 10 centimeter um, there is another thing that i want to show you um, there is another thing you see in here grid is uh, in mil everything is in mil but you want to uh, all this dimension to be in millimeter you just in here in properties just go down and choose millimeter you know everything is in millimeter so that's okay let's just measure this as well and first click here and you see it's just um, it's just trying to measure in this um, direction but with hitting a space on your keyboard you can change it to here so let's just click here and you see that is you should double click and change it to millimeter and that is this much in this direction we we will change it no if i change this let's just see if I change this this will change as well let's just hit tab again to select all this uh, outline and go to design board shape and define from selected so you see you you change it and it change here let's just go to tools and um, uh, click cross probing you see you can um, with cross probing you can select here and it will show you where is where it is in your schematic you see all the schematics is um, deselected but this you can see it that is selected that you can you select it from here and uh, let's just go to class uh, cross select mode and you see in here what you can do let's just save all this and go here um, in here just click anywhere you want and uh, hold shift and click here Sh click here again and then click here and go to here you see you selected all these three you selected here and automatically it selected uh, in pc in here you just hit t for um, tools and 
then component placement let's just go here tools component placement placement and reposition selected component you see all the component you selected in a schematic it will one by one in order that you select select them you can um, put it in here so let's just this is a input cap let's just put it here and uh, this is our um uh, this is um, lm11 uh, 17 let's just put it there and again this is uh, output cap that's okay let's just decide where to put it so it will be good uh, i think it's maybe better to put it here and put this in here you see uh, you it try to connect this to this and this to this you know that this kind of ceramic cap uh, it's not uh, it doesn't have uh, minus side or positive side it doesn't have polarity so what we can do let's just uh, hold control here and drag it and hit a space two time and again put it there no let's just go to design and update pcb and deselect this room because we don't need it and execute changes you see no uh, this connect to here and this connect to here and it's, it, it, it is no so easy to connect them together Let's just bring it back here, or it may be, it will be better to do it here because we have two relay that I want to put it here, so we have a space in this direction. Now we can just put it here. So this space, um, by this we using this space here, and um, doing this here, we will use this space. Um, I want to do something for now you see in here this um i want to change all um, this designator to uh, change its font type you see i want to just make it true type and bold it so it is much nicer than this how we can do it we can do it manually we should um, try something out let's just click here and right click on it go to find similar object when you click it just say uh, it is text and it should be just designator i want to change just designator and whatever that have um, takes kind of a stroke font um, selected select uh, select them okay no you see all the um, all the text that is a stroke is selected now we can change it to true type you see all of them is going to be true type and bold it that's okay so we change all of it fast what we should do now we should just put i think it will be good if we put it here and put this here let's just select all two, uh, those two and hit a on your keyboard and align to top see no they are aligned and we can align these two again select them align align top so no they are aligned let's just align them with each other and again align top that's okay uh, we wanna just do aligning for what for these two we want these two to be aligned together so we select this pad and this pad you see i did select them and hit a on, on your uh, keyboard and align bottom you see it's no aligned bottom it's in one range and this and this i want to be aligned center so align horizontal center let's just click here so it will be aligned with this this is for it it's good if we can um, hit three on your keyboard and see see it in 3d dimensional so it is good for now we want a screw as well so what we want to do here for a screw let's just select all of this and just hold the control and with the arrow key in your keyboard change its position you see it's just uh, going uh, 0.1 millimeter at the time just hit g on your keyboard and select one millimeter and now just hold control and go to right you see it's going to right a lot and again change this position by arrow key hold control and arrow key up no it's okay let's just put one of these screw here i think that is good 
it shouldn't be uh, close to borderline so it will change this position let's go to g and uh, hit g on your keyboard and change this again that's good i think let's just hit three on your keyboard you see there is a screw here that's okay and then now everything is okay in this side what we want to do uh, we have 3.3 and 5 volt no let's just go to one of relays save all one of relays where we should start i think it it would be better if we start from this side and go here and go here and go here so uh, i hold shift click here and then again click here it should have order so let's just put these two first uh, shortcut for tools uh, component placement reposition selected is this t o c so it is so much faster so you put it here but you want to place for a screw so you put it here i think it is good and change this position it's really should be here let's just go to 3d mode with hitting 3 on your keyboard i think with uh, select with hit uh, holding shift you can with right click rotate it see that's okay and let's just save it and just bring one of our screw to see if there is a um, place let's just put it here this is so much bad area but we want to align it with this with this screw so screw place so click here to select it and click here to select this as well and hit a on your keyboard and uh, select align right and click on itself and if you see this its position uh, its location for y is something like five five is okay so it's five and five in here we want to put it just like that so we should bring our zero and zero to here so go to edit origin set and put it here and this position this location so it should be five and minus five so it is exactly like this and no we can bring back our origin to here origin set that's okay one what uh, one thing you should do now just click these two and lock them so uh, we can't accidentally uh, just um, change them its location should be lock so you can't know change them until you unlock it you can change them so that's okay and you see this and this is um, this two pin is a two pin that um, will draw a lot of current so we should just change its position you see from this it go to here and this go to here we can just rotate this in our schematic so it will be okay because um, there is no standard way to do this so you can uh, just rotate this let's go and find out uh, go to tools and cross probe click cross probe and click here to see it in your schematic and go to a schematic that's it let's just click here and hold control so you select it and hit x in your um, keyboard so it will be inverted in x direction so again put it there and go to design update pcb don't war room so execute changes no everything is okay you can connect this to this this to this and this to here and we want to align it just select these two hit a on your keyboard and align horizontal center click here and it will be aligned perfectly that's good we have another relay that's it this is its connector we don't want our board to be big a lot big so we put it here and select these two and align it from button let's hit a on your keyboard and align button so it will be aligned together let's hit three on your keyboard you see they are exactly aligned there is a little uh, space and that's good let's bring its relays and what we should do we should rotate it and again
now that's our connector so let's just put this connector because this is this connector let's just put it there and align bottom that's okay i think click it and hold control and press arrow key left that's good i think it's location is good align bottom it is and change its direction let's just choose crossbow click here and you can see it here click uh, hold control and select it and hit x on your keyboard and put it there again update your pcb and execute changes see everything is okay so i wanted this to be aligned with this so select both of these and hit a on your keyboard and align choose align top so it will be aligned with uh, top of each other so select this and this and align uh, align horizontal center reference is this so that's okay it is these two is so much alike no let's just hit you see those two is so much alike and no uh, you see this is for our input but our input maybe shouldn't have this big connection what we can do about it maybe if we change its footprint it won't be um, beautiful because we have these uh, two connection uh, but um, let's just uh, use this and after that uh, we just uh, change it if we want put it there and select both of them align bottom so it is okay and let's put, put grid to uh, something like this and uh, select it and hold control and arrow left so we go to left until it gives us when it is green it it is a roar so that's good you see that is the same um, position no i think this is what you want for here and we can select it from um a schematic and then bring it here so in here we want to put another screw so what we should do we should just select this and this and align it to top align top because this is locked we can do anything to it so unlock it and then align it align top so this is aligned no and let's just make it smaller click here and just put it here i think it's good now select this no i wanna this to be five millimeter from the uh, middle of this so i should set origin here in the middle of this and location of change location of this location for x should be five and And end of it location of X end should be five as well and you see this is a start and this is end should all end at the start should be five for X okay and for here you see that you can change it and this button you can select it and change it to the new dimension that's no okay so let's just again go to tools origin set set origin and select it's not selecting this why it's not selecting it let's just uh, let's just hit tab here so we select all this board outline and go to design board shape and define from selected you see now we can go to edit origin set origin and select edge of the board we can now show see the location of this so it should be minus five in here no it's identical to this here so let's just select all of this and like its location that's okay we want just this we want just this much of the board we don't want anything more because this connection and relays um, is for is deciding uh, what is our limitation in PCB area uh, when a PCB area is bigger it will be so much expensive so let's just put this last screw 
select this and this and align it let's just unlock its location and unlock this location as well because we want to select it this and this and this and we want to hit a and align align right align right this is not aligning shift align right let's just align it with center align horizontal center it's not working why it's not working let's just see uh, its location is locked i forgot to unlock it so again select it select this align right so it is okay and again select this and this align button you can just hit b on your keyboard to align button so it is now okay if you set origin here it will be uh, a min two min minus five minus five edit origin set here you see it should be minus five and it should be minus five uh, no 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 uh, y is uh, five and x is minus five so it is okay let's just bring back our origin to here and just for now we should like it's their location that's good and bring back our origin here so we have our board you see this is our board and we should we should use it let's just change this go to here and you know we just place all of this and we didn't we didn't root anything let's just see some rules you go to design select rules and go to routing and width you see you just in a schematic you just uh, create some rule it is in millimeter we but we decided in mil let's just click here and go to meals again and go to design rules you see our rule that we uh, enter from a schematic is now applied in here that's it you see you see it here all the um, net that it has it's selected here and put this limitation in it so we have our rules if you let's just see some of this you see in here we don't want to use this uh, diode we want to just use surface mount so go to tools cross probe and click here and it is this double click it and if you go here you see you did choose this but we want to change it maybe to this or i think this is good or the other should be we can place it with this and we change it so that's okay if you see it again so that's okay let's just update our pcb with this choice that we did here we don't want room so execute it please and it changed so you see this is this is changed so we have this much of a space to put all of this here let's hit three and you see that's all you wanna put in there that's good you see i'm i'm clicking middlemost and move forward it zoom and move backward it's on zoom right click you can just grab it that's it in case you didn't know it let's just save all now go to a schematic we want to just do this now uh, hold shift click here click here here just three components and this this and this and then go to pcb you see it's selected and in your keyboard hit t o c that's okay you see this is red this pad pads is red so it is in top layer you see it in here that is in top layer let's just put it there don't worry about a designator we change it later let's just you know just rotate this and put it there i think we will change it again put it there this is for another one so 
Let's put it there. Of course, I will change it. What do you think? I think it should be it. It is better if we change all of this. Change it, its position to here. And let's just take this here. Change this. I think it is good if it be here and for because we don't have a lot of position let's just put this here and put this here see so you can root to here to here to here that's okay and use this space that we have here to put all of this that's cool so let's just hit three to feel to see if it's okay that's okay let's just have some space from there cool no, we want to align everything. This and this and this and this should be aligned together. Let's just hit A on your keyboard and align the button. So that's it. All of this is now aligned together. Maybe we should align center it. So let's just align center it. Align vertical center and put our reference here. So we just do this. That's okay. This is aligned as well by itself. Uh, but we can just bring it bring this here don't worry about this designator we change it later just click these two and align bottom that's no okay and click here and here align left i think it will be good and this and this align right no these two and these two is aligned together let's just no 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 control z to click this designator and put it there i will change it again later you see i don't i can't change i can select it it's so hard to select it just select here and go to layer top overlay no you can write we can select it easily that's okay for now just select these two align with b on your keyboard align button and select these two align with t on your keyboard align top is happening so that's okay for these parts Let's just change in this and align bottom a b align button and that's okay for this maybe just select these two and uh, hit g so and we want our step to be 0.5 millimeter click here and hold control and up arrow in your keyboard to go up that's okay i think that's so much okay let's just see it if it's okay that's okay so we have this much of a space here to put our this to here so let's go and finish our relay section go to relay one i did say i want to go from here first select this then select this and it's ground it's blob then this and then this and then this that's good they are selected and let's use T O C this is for protection and this is for triggering it let's just use smaller grid so that's okay, I think. Let's just put it here for now. I will change it later. Here. Here. So I will change a lot of it. There is a space here, so I, I will try to use this space here. So how we can use it? Let's just do this. This is protection so it should be close to this and let's just use this here then this to here i will change it of course later and that's no good no it's good i think this way so i can connect this there is a lot of space here so i will just bring this two out little, this little here, and this 
this has a lot of prayer space here so maybe I will do this and for the LED I will do this so I will align it of course but for now it is okay let's go for let's just align it first these two should be aligned A T align top this maybe that's good I think that is going this way I think this is good and of course we can use other side let's just hit three you see I put all our component here of course we can go in in the bottom layer but if you just one layer for your component it will be so much cheaper to build it so that's I think it's better way to do this it is so much better to do this um, let's just align these two together align button a b so it will be aligned button here and here align left a l so it will be align left it should align in the middle align horizontal center so it will be aligned now and it's just this and this maybe should be aligned horizontal center so that's okay and this and this maybe it's be better to um, do aligning for this as well so it is now okay and i think that's good for now let's just go to another relay that it, it is here let's save it and go to relay 2 from here select this then this and this and so on let's just put it t o c aha there is a problem here let's just we don't want to use this footprint so we will change it let's just have it now here and maybe just put this here to use this this here to use this free space here and what's this and just let's just put it here to see where it should be connected and maybe um this will be good here i think maybe i change it later and this is a status LED. And that's okay so we need to connect it here so i think no it's okay let's just align these two align left it will be okay align these two again align vertical center that's okay too align these two again align vertical center that's okay and what should we do now i think it's it's this and this should be aligned horizontal center so it is good now uh, what we should do now let's just change this footprint go to tools and cross probe and to here and change it double click on it and go down and click here hit enter and now just design update your pcb execute and you see it did change let's align horizontal center it that's okay we have a lot of space that we didn't use like here and like all of this let's just go to 3d if you hit zero it will be in this position if you if you hit nine in your keyboard it will show it like this if you hit zero it will be in zero degree so we put a relay in here maybe size of our board in this direction is so big well, uh, let's just put all the other and then decide if you if you want to just uh, make it a small or not first of all i think just bring bring this here because this has an antenna so it should be where that there is a smaller noise so let's just hit three it's getting more beautiful now you see there is a lot of so uh, you saw that this is esp7 but we want to use esp7s 
So no, we should go and change this to ESP7S. Let's just save save all and go and change it. Let's go to project. No, no, no. Let's just to go to my library and open it. It will go here. Now that I open it, it will go here. You can see all the component that it is here and all the net is here. I'm just drag and, I did just drag and drop it here. So we will go to this PCB lib and I will go to here so we see those sizes. So Let's just build this. You see, in PCB library, you click here, you can search for ESP. So this is what we did use. So it has anten antenna in it, but ESP7S just has an external antenna. Then we should change this. What we should do first, we should build its um, 3D body. So let's just delete it. We and now I want to know how much distance between this point with this point. Let's just go to report, measure distance, and measure it. So this is uh, like 24 millimeter. Let's just see. It's just in here didn't give us that so let's just go and find it let's see all of its sizes aha uh -huh. this is 17 millimeter so what we should do we can put our zero in here edit set reference location and put its location in here and change its value you see there is a green and there is a yellow yellow is in top overlay and green is in drawing it's just a mechanical layer that uh, manufacturer won't uh, don't uh, attention to it so uh, the important is this yellow of course we can change both of them so we want to change its y to 17 millimeter it's a start y and end y so that's what we want let's just bring it back to here and and clear all we don't want you see there is some another thing that I don't want so I will just clear all of it this is just uh, what we measured in here so it will be erased by itself so let's just bring all of this down and you see when we uh, click clear filter all this line will be go away so this is what we want let's just see again distance between middle of this pin and this pin is two millimeters so distance between each each pin should be two millimeters so go to here measure distance and in the middle of it click and this is two millimeter this is okay it is eight so it it, it will show us this two millimeter you can clear it by this and that's okay I think what we one millimeter so double click in here if it's one millimeter just go to size this is one millimeter so it is okay and what we should do now maybe it should be more than one millimeter but it is okay if it be bigger than that it will be easier to uh, solder but it takes so much space you see in X size of it uh, length of it we should just measure if it's okay report and measure distance from here to here that's correct let's just clear this again and 
see if we miss anything you see in here it says that if it be uh, 1.1 it will be good so let's just select all of this and this and change it to 1.1 so it is bigger and it's easier to root so let's just go again it is 2.6 let's just see if it's 2.6 let's just select it again change it to 2.6 so that's cool we did whatever it want so from middle of this to middle of this is 15.4 so let's just measure it from this to here how much so it has less than what we want so how much we should add to it it should be this much let's just bring up calculator What we have here is just this, let's just put it, minus 15 point. So this much should be add to each end of it. So how we can do that? We want half of it to add to here and half of it to add to this way. Let's just divide it by two and that's it. Let's just have it and click ok no i wanna put the zero zero in the middle of this how we can do that let's just click here and put something here it doesn't matter where you put it and just select this and this and hit a on your keyboard and align horizontal center Re reference it by this so this is in middle now you see this is in middle of x length of it so we can just go edit and set reference location so it's in middle let's just click here it's location it's this and you just remember that and this location is just minus what it has so we want to add it by this much okay let's just bring another calculator so in here seven point plus that's it copy and paste it with ctrl c and paste it here that's okay and here just minus of what we want so a small changes but it's so efficient let's just select all of this and change this value of their x's to here minus and that's okay let's just change this to what we calculated so it is okay let's just clear filter and again report measure distance from here to here so now it is what we want and they tell us everything now it is okay just see here let's, let's just go to our pcb document you see it's big and but we change it okay what we should do now just go to tools update pc with update pc with the current footprint let's just click it and click ok wait and go here you see it changed we, we forgot to just do it this because we want just middle of this let's just put reference in here again and again update our pc with this fit, uh, footprint so let's just wait until it's updated and that's okay now so this you see let's just to make it here let's just save all okay we save it by updating your pcb you will compile it by default 